Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much, welcome back. I have a whole basket of Scentsy empties. So I want to clean out this basket and start afresh tomorrow. Is a fresh a word? I think it is. I just made it one. Um, so I'm going to pull this up here. And I'm going to start with, um, I don't have that much non-wax this week. I have laundry things going that I'm loving that. I think it's um, Fall in Love, the washer whiffs I got. And um, I'm loving it, the washer whiffs. And I think it's Fall in Love. Love it. So that should be probably in my empties when I do it again in like two weeks. But I did pull out of my kitchen garbage today, fall feeling scent circle. This was really good for a scent circle. Still has a smell and it's like two weeks. Yeah, it was good. Um, French lavender. And I had this. Where did this just pop up on me in one of my drawers? Wait, no. I had this in the bottom of the garbage can in my bathroom. So I had it like underneath the bag in my little disposable uh, garbage can in my bathroom. So I changed the bag out. So I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize that was in there. It was in here for a while. So this did good. It's a good one for a bathroom garbage can. And now we're on to wax. I do have like car bars. I probably have like two or three car bars in my car. I got to pull them out. So my next empties will have more non-wax, mostly. So I am doing Patricia Gates's um, melting challenge. I don't have anything in order here. Um, so I'm just going to be pulling. I might not have the days in numerical order. Um, start here. Okay. On October 24th, it was melt a clove. I have clove. She might have had nutmeg clove on it. I did our September scent of the month, which is um, frosted cinnamon roll. It's powdered cinnamon, sweet clove, and whipped vanilla sugar. So, which is probably why I liked it so much, because it's sweet clove. So, that's frosted cinnamon roll. And I think I'm going to put a bar of this in my club. I am, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am going to. I want more of it because I really liked it. And I think if I let it even sit longer, I'll like it more. So I'm going to throw it in my quarterly that's coming in December or November. I can't remember. No, I think I get my quarterly in November. So I'll get another bar in November, and then it'll be like February again. But by the time next fall comes, I'll have a nice little pile of them. So this one I'm going to put in my club. Um, Banana Rama, we did a melt a yellow cake today, the second, November 2nd, right? Yeah, and I did Banana Rama. Why am I showing you the inside? It's a bring back my bar, Banana Rama, where it's not available anymore. I did that and I really liked it. I did it in. I did four cubes in Jacqueline's bedroom and four in mine. Our bedrooms are across from each other. Smelt really good down there all day. And I'll be honest, I tried that bar when we first got it and I liked it, but I didn't find the performance to be. My camera's really messed up. I got a new phone. I got a, I'm calling Apple about it, my camera thing. The lighting, I don't know what's happening with it. Um... Anyway, I think letting that bar sit, it performed a lot better than it did the first time I tried it. Pink leather. Oh my God, I love this. It's in my club now. Wild strawberry, toasted vanilla, and pink leather. Guys, this was so, so good. Did anybody try the pink leather? Let me know. I loved it. And I don't like leather. And I love this. Oh my God, one of our new ones right now. Um, I guess it's a limited time offer, maybe holiday collection. I don't know. I cannot keep up with everything. It's Rum Pum Plum. Um, I don't have the set notes to it, but it is sweet. It's like a sweet plum. This is 
more of a sweet, this should be sweet plum pastry, and the sweet plum pastry should be rum pum plum. That's what I'm going to say. This was more sweet plum pastry than sweet plum pastry. I might even have sweet plum pastry because I think I did it on a tart day we did. This was so, so good. I have two bars coming in. Um, I had two bars in my October club, and I'm leaving it in there as two bars to get another two in, another two bars for my November monthly. Love, love, love. That was really, really good. Um, Dancing Sugar Plums. It's in my quarterly. I love this one. It is Spiced Plums, Vanilla, and Sweet Cinnamon Apple. So good. This is so... They did not... This is not back, I don't think, right now. They didn't bring this back. I don't know why. I don't think they did anyway. Somebody will comment below if they did and I'm wrong. But this is so good. It's in my quarterly. I love it. Caramel pear crisp is in my quarterly. Not. I don't think it. I think we're doing caramel apple crisp. Oh, my God. This is all day. It goes all day and night. So good. I love it. In my quarterly. Cashmere and corduroy. Love cashmere and corduroy. This came out in our fall winter 22. When the catalog changed over to spring summer, I put it in my club. Then I took it out of my club because I saw they were bringing it back. I think this is in our woodsy section. And um, it is. Okay, so cashmere and corduroy. It's vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. If you haven't tried this, I've yet to hear anybody that doesn't. Well, not everybody might not love it, but I haven't heard anyone that don't like it. But yeah, mostly a lot of my people, customers that buy it, everyone loves it. Oh yeah, here's sweet plum pastry. So on the 25th, we had to do a tart set. And I picked sweet plum pastry because sweet plum pastry to me is tart. Sorry, it's tart for me. Um, when I warm this, I always mix like butter pecan or um, almond croissant or something else. I either do a cube and a cube of that or I alternate warmers. Everyone who comes to my house loves it. I do this on Thanksgiving every year and I do it when I'm having a dinner party, like in the winter, like friends over. Like I like to have like, if it was three of my friends' birthdays in the past, like two months, I'll have all three of them over at once and I'll do one big dinner for everybody. And I always do this with the butter pecan or almond croissant, um, apple butter frosting. Everybody loves this, but because I don't know if it's because I mix it or what. On its own, it's too tart. So sweet plum pastry. This should have been rum pum plum. And rum pum plum <laughs> should have been sweet plum pastry. Oh my God. Count Counting the stars. I got this because I was watching... Brad and Brett, Brett and Brad, Brett and Brad. And um, Brad was loving it when they were doing their cold reviews. And it's from the Open Plains limited time offer. It's juicy strawberry wafts over fresh leather with a woodsy note in it. And um, this was, yep, really good. I'm leaving it right now in my club. Oh, I do have another non-wax. I have a blue grotto travel twist that was in an old whiff box of mine. And I put it like over where the cat litter box is. And blue grotto is just sweet citrus, sweet citrus, tropical scents, and lush botanical. I'm not crazy about our travel twists. I would never buy them if they're in a whiff box. Fine. Um, make me snickerdoodle. And make me snickerdoodle is a new release. Yeah. It's homemade cookie dough sweetened with brown sugar, vanilla bean rolled in sugared cinnamon, baked to perfection. Not impressed. Maybe the bar needs to sit a few months, um, like a year, like um, that Banana Rama did. I don't know, but I won't get any more of that because it wasn't that. I didn't get a great throw from it. I might have smelled it nice for like maybe an hour, and that was it. Uh, I have an almond croissant. I probably did almond croissant when I did the sweet plum pastry. I probably threw a few cubes around in the room I had it in. I think the game room. 
Snuggle Up. So Snuggle Up was in my club for like three years. It's from our Catching Z collection. I recently took it out because I had, I was just getting bars and giving them to my friend Christine loves it and my cousin Maria and Christina love it. And I just kept, I was in my monthly and I couldn't switch it to my quarterly. If I could have switched it to my quarterly, I would have just to keep getting it for them. But I wore myself out on it. So um, it's cashmere, woods, lavender, and sage. It is really good, but um, I just didn't want it anymore. Semper snoring. You hear him? We went for a long walk before, so he's out cold. Um, a scent you're unsure of. So I did this friends bar because I wasn't crazy about it on cold. And it's double espresso, fresh brewed coffee, and coconut cream. All I got was coconut. I've heard other people saying that. Totally agree. For it to be double espresso and fresh brewed coffee, you really think you would smell coffee. And I just smelled coconut, and I didn't even like the coconut in it. I didn't even like the oil of it. Mediterranean Spa. This is in my quarterly. It was in our... Um, Bring back my bar. I think the January one. It's smooth, fresh, breezy scent. That's what I have written here. So it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful bathroom scent. Would you do your whole house in it? No. Definitely you'd get a headache from it. But like after a few hours, this is a great bathroom scent or a bedroom scent. I love it. It's staying in my club. Sleigh ride. Mm-mm. Not impressed with this one. Crisp bear, fur needles, and tart cranberry. I didn't, I got, I could smell it, but it wasn't like a great, it was like maybe a five. And um, yeah, I wasn't real crazy about this, the scent or anything about it. So I don't want any more of that. And then on October 30th, we did melt a candy scent. So I have, because I had it in my club, so I have quite the stash of it of give me candy. And it's sweet caramel sugar, golden honey, and sweet buttercream. So I did, so I did, so that's eight to 24 cubes in my open concept. And um, my daughter-in-law did this for my grandson's first birthday last year in October. And when I walked in the house, I'm like, what are, what are you warming? She goes, it's the give me candy. And um, so I loved it so much. I don't know, you know, everybody's house, it smells different in. It smelled strong all day for, throughout the whole, my grandson's whole first birthday. Everybody was commenting on how good the house smelled, but maybe my, it just didn't, my house is bigger and maybe it just didn't throw the same, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I think I already took it out of my club. Well, it's now in the catalog, you could get it. So I probably took it out of the club prior to warming it, knowing I could put it back in my club when we switch over again, but I don't think I am because I didn't get great throw with it. Um, November 1st was Nash, I'm still October, and then today's what, the second or the third? Uh, November 1st was Cinnamon Day. I did Cinnamon Pine Cones. I love it. I have many bars of it, and this will go back in my club. Um, the 27th. Oh, I also did this on the de on something you're unsure of, and oh my God, I dislike this on cold. And did you ever dislike something on cold, and then you warm it, and you're like, oh my God, it's so much different on warm? Okay, the same way I smelled this on cold was the same way I smelled it on warm. It's red currant wreath. No, I didn't like it. It is... Red currant, don't like red currant. Winter berries, evergreen, and sandalwood branches. I didn't like that at all. No, thank you. Then we had a day to do non-spice pumpkin. So um, I wrote, this went for two days with hearts all over it. And it's farm stand pumpkin. So I put a bar in my monthly club. Um, the day that I did this because I loved it so much. I don't think I ever warmed this before and I loved it. So farm stand pumpkin is fresh apples, cinnamon, pumpkin, and caramel. And I wrote this went for two plus days and I put two hearts on it. And I did farm stand pumpkin and I alternated it with my favorite cozy vanilla and pumpkin. So I did both of these on non-spice pumpkin day. 
The 28th was National Chocolate Day, so you melt a chocolate scent or brown. So I finished off, I must have mixed it, done other coffees. I finished off Coffee Tree. Um, yeah. Every time I think I'm done with Coffee Tree, I find another bar somewhere. And Cashmere Leaves I did that day. I love, love, love this one. It's going to go in my club. It's going to go in my club at the end of the season. And Cashmere Leaves is our harvest collection. It's delicate falling leaves, brushed crisp apple, and cashmere spice. So love this. I've gotten more bars since then. I, I've bought a six-pack, and I love it. And then it was Melt a Sample Day. So this was in a whiff box, pumpkin cashmere. And it was really good. I really liked it a lot. I did it in my home office. I took this. It's a nice shot cup. I cut it in half and I put it in the two warmers in my home office. And it smelled really good. I liked it, but it died fast. It was like maybe three, four hours. And then you really couldn't smell it. And um, it is cinnamon, pumpkin, and cozy cashmere and woodsy. I almost was going to put it in my club because the first couple hours, I was like, oh, that smells so good. But after three, four hours, I couldn't smell it anymore. And I so I'm not. And that's it, guys. That is my Scentsy Empties. If you stay till the end, thank you so much. Let me know what you guys are warming. Um, do you, what's your favorite from the Harvest Collection? Because I'm really liking the Harvest Collection. Charity said she liked last year's better. I do agree with her. I like last year's Harvest Collection better too, but I am enjoying this year's, but I do agree with her on that. I liked last year's better. So let me know what you guys are warming. Happy, well, I don't know if this is, I'm doing this Thursday night. I'm probably not going to get up till Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Love you guys so much. And, um, okay. Bye guys.